hello everybody and welcome to this week's vlog. It has been a couple weeks since we last were here. A uh, cooking segment last week which fe featured our firecracker venison meatloaf was very well received. Thank you for all the response. Now, a um, lot of food plot stuff going on in the last couple weeks. We, we got our plot in, start out with getting it mowed by a friend of ours and then uh, a few days later we had it tilled by our friend Josh Rooflett. And uh, I snuck up there yesterday. I had an, an hour in my schedule where I could get it done, and I thought it was going to rain, and I wanted to get it done. And as it turned out, it didn't rain, but it had rained the day before. So, and we're getting more rain up there right now. It's couldn't have put it in at a better time. So our food plot for 2018 is all ready to go. Planted it to big time buck brunch. We had such good success with it last year, and uh, so we did it again. Also, uh, my nephew Zane has been working on their fall plots. You know they kind of in a rebuilding year, but uh, not seeing much in the way of, of shooter deer, but who knows, you know, they can show up anytime, especially in the area that him and my brother Mike, his, Zane's dad, are in. So let's check in with him and see how things are going on their fall plot. We just finished up our plot here. Our, it's about a half acre plot that we added this, this summer. And we came in with a plan this spring on, on how we wanted to do it. And it, overall, it, it plan came together and it turned out great. Uh, it took us three, four hours today to, to finish it up with some tractor and equipment help. Uh, but we got the seed in the ground um, and uh, they're actually calling for some rain here this afternoon. It's hopefully going to give those deer a reason to stay on our side of the fence this year and uh, hopefully save some of our upcoming bucks from the neighbors as well. Uh, you know, anything we can do to, to put the odds in our favor, that's what we're going to do. Um, but uh, I'm gonna finish up here. I got some stuff to take back to the house And then I'm gonna run and check a camera here before I head home and hopefully I got some good news on, on those as well But uh, we'll catch you guys later. We'll catch you next week. Hopefully Well, if, if this year turns out to be anything like last year uh, Zane my nephew and my brother Mike Zane's dad had some really good deer some really good whitetails hanging around their place so hopefully this will be a repeat of that although they're really not seeing much on their cameras yet in the way of shooter deer. It might be a rebuilding year for them. Uh, let's check in with John Goldsberry and Dale Manismith now because they've been doing some things. I think they've been doing a little scouting, a little looking around, and uh, a few other things. Our buddies in Ohio and Indiana, respectively. So let's check in with them and see what they've been doing. Hey guys, we have a lot of good things going on in Indiana. To start off with, I put my Reconyx camera out over a big time block and this nice three-year-old 10-pointer that I had last year has blown up. I found a shed literally about 80 yards from where he was um, on this big time block last year. So hopefully he's a homebody, but he really blew up and he has a drop time, which is really cool because I don't, I don't get that many drop times around me. And also that buck that lost or he got hit by a car and it looked like he was going to lose his antler actually has really good blood flow in the antler and he has like a main beam growing up now straight up and that piece that looked like it was drooping still has a lot of darkness in it like it's still alive so that might be interesting but he's walking good and everything's doing fine so it'll be really cool to see what he turns into but um all the other bucks are really developing. It's all starting to come together. The season is getting a lot closer. And uh, we're going to be setting stands and trimming lanes. And, um, and North Dakota is coming up really soon. So stay tuned. It's going to be fun. Well, there you have it. Uh, as I said at the top, a lot of food plot related stuff. It is the season. Also, you know, it's, it's that time of year. The bucks are really beginning to show their... their uh, their headgear off a little more. They're getting more and more developed. It's not going to be long and they're just going to start hardening up because antler development's going to be over and it'll be time to rub that velvet. It'll be here before we know it. How did it get to be the first week in August already? But that's the way it goes. And that's it for this week's vlog. Make sure you tune in again next week and we'll let you know what we've been up to.